Without using a curse word, how would you describe Sunday's game? Uh, <laughs> you know, it's just just one of those days. Um, everything that kind of could go wrong went a little bit wrong, but. Uh, you know, it's one to learn from. You, you can kind of really get a lot of good things from games like that, and you can really be able to kind of look ourselves in the mirror and and know that uh, while there's some rough things on film, there's some things that are encouraging, and there's uh, some things we can clearly uh, get better on, and that's that's the encouraging part of it, and that's what you take from it. You know, it's all just a learning experience week to week. So, you know, we, we appreciate it, and, and that's a good um, – Good defense, a good group over there, and we respect it. And uh, and they, you know, they were able to take it to us a little bit. But uh, you know, it's, it's a the only thing you can do from games like that is take good from it and take take things that you can grow from. And what was encouraging from that film? Anything? Uh, you know, it was it was there was there was just you know, it, without getting too much into the details, there's just there's some things that were small things that looked like they were just total breakdowns. And you know, we know we can clean them up, and we know that. Uh, going forward, they, they're things that won't be an issue and uh, that we can adjust on uh, quicker. We were talking to Sam on Tuesday. He was talking about the conversations he did that's been having in the What have those been like holding each other accountable? Yeah, just um, for us uh, up front and for the entire offense, it's just about uh, finding an identity, finding an identity and, and sticking to it. And, and, and once we do that, we know it starts to roll because. Uh, you know, over time and even us last year, once we were able to find an identity and, and able to hang our hats on that, we were able to play some pretty good football. So uh, it's just another, you know, another uh, learning experience for us. You know, it's one game. You can't take it as more than that. A loss is a loss. It's one loss. And you just have to keep going from it. You know, I can't, you can't uh, press the panic button because of the fashion of the loss. You just have to uh, learn from the bad and, and take whatever good there was. How do you think you do that? Find that identity you're looking for. You know, it, it just it, it starts with it just starts with it starts with each person. You know, uh, stepping up and knowing that we have to do our assignments. We have to be on point. There can't be MAs. There can't be uh, miscommunication. There can't be things like that. And once you know, and we're all have to, once we're all on the same page, I think we do a pretty good job. But you know, I think some of it was just not being on the same page about things and and. Uh, in, in the games like that versus talented defenses, it can expose you and it can look, uh, it can look less than ideal. What does that mean specifically when you say not on the same page? Are you talking about not taking the right assignments or the right guys? Not, you know, not, necess not necessarily not the right assignments, just uh, they were able to throw some things at us. And as a, you know, just speaking for the O-line, I think we could have adjusted, adjusted quicker. Some of the stunts they're showing us, some of the looks they're showing us, some of the things they were even doing when we were able to, uh, run the ball. They were, you know, they they were slanting a little bit there, uh, especially on, you know, for sure on my side and uh, on Jason's side, a tackle. They were kind of slanting us. So you know, just things you can adjust on, and uh, you know, me myself, you know, I have to adjust too. So uh, just c continue to adjust and continue to, you know, adapt when you see what they're throwing at you. Because every defense has a game plan they're going to throw at you, and you know, once they hit you in the mouth, you can't, you know, you can't keep getting in the mouth. You got to eventually adjust, duck and move and. You know, make your adjustment because uh, yeah, that's what we're paid to do. We're paid to we're paid to adjust to their adjustment. They're paid to adjust our adjustment. You know, it's just a give and take. You know? I'm not sure what, if this is already asked, but how do you feel Justin Fields did after? How do you feel he did mentally or responded to it mentally after being sacked that many times? Yeah, you know, I, I thought the um, you know the most impressive thing was you know he was able to keep his poise and uh, hang in there, hang in there with us, hang in there with the offense and. And you know we're, we're we're all in together, and he and he realized that we all realized that we're all in together. We all have our stuff that uh, we had on that tape, and we we just have to we just have to you know like like I said earlier, we have to all look ourselves in the mirror and know, all right, it starts with me before I can say this, that, and the other. No, it, it starts with me because once I do better, then okay, the offense is going to do better, and that's each each individual. And I think we have those type of guys in our offense to where. We're not going to panic because we know we have those guys in our offense. We have those guys that that are good players, good solid veterans, a mix of young and old players that have done it a lot, and and we just adjust. And we're going to. Uh, I think I think the the product on the field this Sunday will be a lot more uh, recognizable to what we think our offense will look like and what we all want to be. Well, what makes you communicate with Fields in places where he sh maybe should not have taken a sack? You know, I, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't speak to that. I can't speak to 
because no matter what the situation, a playmaker like him, a quarterback like him, you know, I was I was best to play with a quarterback like Russell Wilson for a few years. You know, those guys make plays. They make plays, and uh, just like the uh, guy up in Green Bay, he makes plays. Not always, you know, it's not always on time, or you know, it's not always the design play. But they make plays. That's what they get paid for. So, uh, whatever he needs, we give him. You know, and that's that's what we that's what we hang our hat on. It's not about oh he's doing these. No, it's, he's doing that to make a play. Because once he like the fifty yard bomb he threw downfield, you know. You know, those are the type of plays you get for for with players like that, quarterbacks like that, with special type of talent. So we, whatever he needs, we give him. Whatever David needs, whatever Damian, whoever's in there, whatever they need, it's our job to to give it to him. But what makes you believe that this is fixable and that last Sunday wasn't a reflection of you guys as a line? Because cause we know the guys in that room. You know, there's, there's and it's easy to say it's cliche, but um, there sometimes you can look around the room and you know that. There's guys that okay, you know, they're they're probably gonna check out. It's probably gonna, this is probably how it's gonna be. It's gonna go downhill. But you look around our, I look around our offensive room. I looked in that room on Monday, and I just see a bunch of guys that want to do it, getting better. Everybody's out there at practice 30 minutes early. I've never seen that before from an offense. Everybody's out there, not not, not just the old line receivers, uh, A. Rob, Darnell, you know, uh, David and Justin, and you know everybody's out there. Jimmy, and you know Jimmy's going for 14 years. He's out, everybody's out there early, and they're just they just want to get better. You know, and they all want to get better, and the coaches want to be better for us, and we want to be better for them. So it's a it's a it's a collaborative effort, and um, you know I really believe it. You know, I I wouldn't you know I'm not gonna sit up here and blow smoke. You know, it was not great, but uh, but we know we have the guys to right the ship. We know that that's that's a fact. What did, what was the benefit of Maggie? Getting player input on Tuesday. You know, because cause he cares. He cares. He wants to. He wants to. Like I said, he wants to be better for us. We want to be better for him. So it's a, it's a team effort, and uh, he wants to. He wants to put us in positions to succeed, and we want to be able to, to, execute what he's calling. And I think that's you know that's that's big of him to do that. A lot of coaches wouldn't do that. A lot of coaches, would, wouldn't wouldn't uh, be able to put that on their put that on their back. But he was. He was able to step back and really look at the situation and say, what do, what do my guys think? Because he respects all those guys in the room. If he didn't respect us, he wouldn't have asked us that. So we're, we're appreciative of him, and uh, we know he'll make the necessary adjustments, and he knows uh, we're, we're uh, in lockstep that we're going to make the necessary adjustments and, as well. And the input you give him is, um, this is what I'm more comfortable with. This, these are the plays we like. This is how we'd like to do things. What's the, what, was the, what, what are the players telling him? You know, but, you know we just – we just we just all want to do what works to, to to make us look the best. You know, me personally, I didn't I didn't have anything to say. I just kind of sit back and absorb everything that's going on because I'm just of the nature. I'm going to do what's called. And you know, some guys look at scheme and they look at other things. That's not me. I'm going to sit back. I'm going to be like, all right, what can I do to execute whatever play call Justin or Andy or whoever the quarterback is at time gives. And if I'm able to do that, I think we'll we'll be pretty successful. But you know, guys had some good ideas and, and some good thoughts and uh, not to get into it too much in detail, but like I said, you know, so many guys in that room to respect, so many guys that play good football, won Super Bowls, play meaningful playoffs in January and February. So it's uh, it's going to get right. It'll look, uh, you know, it'll be good. You know, it'll be good. I'm excited for it. I really am excited for it. I'm excited to see, I'm excited to see uh, how we respond to the challenge because, you know, it was a challenge. You kind of got haymaker there a little bit, but, you know, got to pick yourself up off the mat, and, you know, you can sulk about it on Sunday, but come Monday, you got to get back to playing. We got another game this week and uh, a great opportunity in the division, and we're excited about it. All right, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.